Hi, welcome back to third video of chapter five. Hope all of you are in a good health. Today, I'm going to discuss about creating a new workbook, saving a workbook, and entering data. Previous class, I explained about the components of MS Excel, five operations in MS Excel. Now, let us discuss creating a new workbook. So workbook is a place where all the work in the Excel is done. A blank workbook displayed in Microsoft Excel. First of all, I'm just going to show you, open the Excel search box here. I'm just going to enter the, type down the Excel. And you can see the Microsoft Excel is already here. And uh, so space when you're going to open the Excel, and uh, here you can see the name of the workbook here. First page, you can see the book one is the default name of the workbook. Okay. And uh, how to create a blank worksheet? Click on the file tab in the backstage view. Click on the new. Choose the blank workbook from the list. You can also choose the template when you are done. Click on the create button. Now see the steps. First of all, click on the file menu. You can also see here the recent files that have used. And uh, it's good to click on the new option. Once you click on the new option, you can see the blank workbook. And uh, templates, you can see a recent template and sample templates. Once you can also find out the different types of sample uh, templates and select any one here. And uh, for example, time grid here and sales report. So we have a Simple template, uh, template here, select report, and click on the simple create button here. We're going to use the, so now we have a already data filled with sample data. And this way you can do the modification in your file. Now, another option here, we can say go to the file menu, then click on the new option and blank workbook is default selected is the blank workbook and click on the create. This way you have a, you can see here the workbook tool. It is already there the workbook, then you can see the work. And inside the book, seat one, seat two, seats one, seat two and Default seat three, six are there. Seat one, seat two, and seat three. So now you can create a new work. Now, click how to save a workbook. Click on the file tab. Select the save option. Select a uh, save as dialog box. It opens. Enter the name in the file and click on the save button. Now see here, the, we have one, just going to please to close this text box, this is the book one. Just need to enter some data. The particular data you just enter the data and you can file, go to file menu. 
click on the save option. And uh, get the save as dialog box here. You can select the location where you want to save the file. Click on the wherever you want to save. I'm just going to save it to the desktop. Write down the any meaningful name. If we're just going to write down, write down the name of the file and click on the here the save button. This way you are able to save your Excel file. So now you are able to how to open a new file, how to save a file. Now, next important point is entry data. Enter the different types of data levels are descriptive piece of information such as name, months, other identifying aesthetics, and they usually include alphabetic characters, text, levels are text. And when you enter this text, name class a descriptive data all generally it is in the text form another one is the numbers if the data is a whole value that's 34 or 5763 excel align the data to the right side of it so number data default alignment is the right side and third one is the formula. So formulas are instructions for Excel to perform calculation. So three types of data we enter levels, numbers, and formula. And uh, you can see when you enter the data, numeric data, and you can see the right alignment. Right? And uh, text, when you uh, just going to write down the text, you can see that this is the default is the left line. And also we can set the formula, we learn how to write the formula and we'll discuss more. So I hope it is clear the point which I explained. Thanks for watching the video.